Hungary no longer a democracy, report. Here's a summary of the article. Hungary is no longer a democracy, Poland is about to go down the same path, democracy in the Balkans is eroding because of Chinese and Russian influence, and the EU is doing nothing to stop it all, according to the NGO Freedom House's latest Nations in Transit report, out Wednesday. In the study, which covers 29 countries from Central Europe to Central Asia, the authors describe a stunning democratic breakdown, saying that there are fewer democracies in the region today than at any point since the annual report was launched in 1995. According to the report's methodology, Hungary is now a hybrid regime, having lost its status as a semi-consolidated democracy due to Prime Minister Viktor Orban's continued assaults on the country's democratic institutions. Neither Poland nor Hungary has faced repercussions for damaging the rule of law at home, and Hungary's ruling Fidesz party has even remained a member of the mainstream European People's Party, the largest grouping in the European Parliament, according to the report, adding that US President Donald Trump has also failed to stand up for democracy in the region. The report also has serious concerns about the Balkans. For the first time since 2003, they are no longer categorized as democracies. The Freedom House report says foreign influence has been a destabilizing factor. This post received a score of 61,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From the link to article in that article. Fully fledged authoritarian democracy. Just a thin veil of legitimacy shrouds his vastly corrupt apparatus. Worst part is Orban started off pretty idealistic and had lots of potential, rallying the people around expelling the Soviets and communism. But once he came into power, he became everything he swore to destroy. SMH. Orban, my allegiance is to the republic to democracy. Wielding power for good is a path to wielding power for its own sake. Of all the roads to the dark side, this one is the most seductive. Mace Windu. Reminds me of 1984 when O'Brien tells Winston that, scary shit. Yes. For anyone who has been thinking of reading this book but hasn't gotten around to it yet do it. It's a very easy read, with plenty of tension and intrigue and action. I expected it to be an effort, but it is double plus good. Orwell is nearly always brought via 1984 and Animal Farm, but my favorite book of his has to be Homage to Catalonia. It's a non-fiction account of his time spent fighting Franco's fascists in Spain during the 1930s. It's an easy read and absolutely fascinating. So will the EU now suspend their membership? IIRC, someone correct me if I'm wrong, they can't because it needs to be unanimous and Poland will support Hungary. So if two members of the EU decide to go rogue together none of the other members of the EU can do anything about it? That seems like a silly rule. They can sanction the countries, they just can't revoke voting rights and representation in the EU, because no country would join if their rights could be revoked like that. For sanctions a two-thirds road majority is required. There have already been sanctions in the past, I expect these will only increase. And the reason for that is to keep countries working out things in the parliament, rather than going to war with each other, rather than expelling and creating aggressive rogue states around Europe. So now what? Does Hungary have oil? Freedom incoming Liberia. Classic Liberia. TBF, they put us to shame in democracy. They vote so much they had 5,000% one time. Why is abandoning democracy so hot right now? Is the steam that came off of winning World War II dying out or something? To be honest if we are talking about Hungary we never liked democracy anyways. Around 1990 we got thrown into the West, with free market capitalism, democracy and all its shortcomings. Our shift from democracy came, not as a result of external forces but as a result of Orban winning a two-thirds road supermajority in Parliament in 2010. They immediately started working on destroying democracy, slowly but surely. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.